Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We are in Chapter 12, Lesson 7, Three-Dimensional Figures, Guided Practice, found on page 941. Three-dimensional figure has length, width, and height. A face is a flat surface. An edge is where two faces meet. And a vertex is a point where three or more faces meet, or a corner. So we are going to describe the face's edge and vertices, or that's a fancy word of saying more than one of these vertex, of the figure outlined in the luggage bag, so this red line. Then identify the shape of the figure. All right, faces. The figure has how many faces? If we were gonna count all the edges. So, one, two, and then there's four on the back. One, two, three, four. So six total, four all the way around. So six faces. Each face appears to be a rectangle. There are how many edges? Well, let's count. One, two, and there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now you gotta imagine this as a figure like this. I wish they would have drawn this see-through so you could have seen all of the faces and the edges. So I like to look at this figure here and help count. The figure has how many vertices or points? If we were to count all these points, one, two, three, four, and then there's four on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight. me out a little bit. There we go. Prisms are three-dimensional figures. A prism has at least three faces that are rectangles. The top and the bottom faces are called bases. Or they're congruent parallel polygons. The figure above is a rectangular prism. A recta in a rectangular prism, the bases are congruent rectangles. A rectangular prism has six rectangular faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Pretty much they're saying that's a rectangular prism. Okay, 940. And that is a much better picture. Ta-da! And this is also a page you'll want to put a little sticky note on so you can use on the test like we've done with our polygons and our sides and angles for triangles. You will definitely want a sticky note on this page so that you can refer to this for the test. All right, there's the rectangular prism. Much better picture because you can see the edges. They made it see-through. There's a triangular prism and a cube. Pretty fun stuff. Okay, number one. This figure has how many faces? If we were gonna count all of the faces, one, two, remember there's one on the back, three, four, five, and then the, the very flat part of the back is six. So there, oh, there's five faces, my bad, five faces. One, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And the base, the base is what? Triangular. The blank faces are what side, what shape is that right there? Yep. Good job. Now we're going to talk about the edges. Let's count the edges. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. The edges that form the vertical sides of the rectangles are parallel and our fun little word, same length, congruent. Vertices, the figure has how many vertices or corners? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The figure is a Triangular prism, da, da, da. that shape matches that shape. And we just labeled it by labeling the faces, edges, and vertices by counting and labeling them. That's what this whole lesson is gonna be about. All right, same story with this one. Describe the faces, edges, and vertices. So you're gonna have three answers. And look, there are three lines. So that way we know there's gonna be three answers and then identify it. So we're going to say, let's do the faces first. I'm gonna do a little F for faces. It has how many faces? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six faces. And I'm gonna do a little E for edge and then a little V for vertices, just to make life a little easier. Is that okay, folks? Let's count the edges. One, two, three, four. Then again, five, six, seven, eight. And then around the edges, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 edges. 
Vertices are corners. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, which one of these does that fall into? Yep, you're right. It is a cube. Da, 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 da. All right, tri triangular prism. Oh, I hate it when I give you the answer to begin with. All right, let's do, let's do the faces, the edges, and the vertices, shall we? All right, faces. Let's count the faces. One, and then there's one on the back, two, one on the bottom, three, and then the edges, four, five. Five of those. Now the edges, we've got one, two, three, and then the back side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine edges. Now let's count the corners, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, triangular prism. Fabulous. Now we're on number four. Let's count faces, edges, and vertices. Okay, let's count the faces on this thing. One, two, three, four, five. Five faces, edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. And vertices or corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Yes. And what one does this fall into? Again, this is another triangular prism. All right. You can probably just look at the picture and decide what that one's going to be, right? But we still need to count the faces, the edges, and the vertices. Faces that we have here. One, and then one on the back, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that one has a beautiful twelve. And then corners, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Triangular, or rectangular prism. Fabulous. Okay, now we're working on number six. What is this one? This building has, we're gonna do faces, edges, and vertices. Faces, it has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices, and that is still a rectangular prism like this one. And this beauty right here, this tent is very similar to this right here. So I bet it's gonna be a triangular prism. So let's count the faces. One face to the front, two, three, four, five. Faces, edges, and vertices. Five faces, nine edges, and six vertices, triangular prism. And apparently you just heard that someone left my house through the basement door. That's all right. That's what happens when you film at home. So let's turn to page 944. We are almost done with this. Hooray. All right, number eight. Let's work on this one. The Anton Center in Chicago is the shape of a rectangular prism. Circle the two-dimensional figures that make up the face of the prism. So what sort of shapes do we see? Right here, do you see? I see that shape. And then this long part I see right there. All right, describe the number of vertices and edges. So vertices, I'm gonna put edges that we see in this figure. Nope, a vertice and edges in an unopened box of cereal. Well, an unopened box of cereal is not quite that tall, but it would definitely have about eight corners and about 12 edges. <clears throat> Brain builder. Haha, -ha, these are fun. What figure is formed if only the height of a cube is increased? Draw the figure to support your answer. So, they want you to draw a little cube. So there's a cube. And they want you to draw it as if it's super tall. So we're going to kind of... We're going to kind of put this on a little bit of an angle to make it look like it's on the top piece. Trick to drawing the cube is you draw these parallel and then you draw these parallel. 
Then you can go down like this, do dots for the inside, and then we're gonna see that side, and then we're gonna see that side. Those have to be parallel. And then you see this line right here? You pull that line in the same angle down here, and this line right here, you pull in the same line over there. Then you erase what is in between. Close enough. It is what well, it is a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. And there's my picture. Yay. Okay, how are rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and cubes different, and how are they the same? They are different. Just put D for different. They have um, different shaped faces. Different shaped faces, and they are the same because they're all three dimensional with congruent, congruent, make sure I spell that right, yeah, okay, congruent parallel basis, which I just want to look at this and say, Different shape, different shape, different shape, but they all have, the bases have parallel lines. Okay? Base right there is the parallel lines. All right, that concludes your guided practice. Please make sure you watch the video for the homework on lesson seven. Thank you.